Hello friends, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome back. My name is Aura, I am your crypto astrologer and I'm gonna give you an update on what's going on this week. But first, um, sorry if it's a little bumpy, I have to hold this. Um, I was having some problems with my computer. We had an electrical storm here, which caused problems on my PC. Speaking of electrical or just strange frequency issues, the, I don't know if you guys saw this story about Astro World, the Astro World rap concert, which was a festival actually. It wasn't just one performer, which is really significant because um, you know, now, of course, Travis Scott is being sued and so is the whole concert venue. But this was very obviously um, some kind of ritual. If you look at the symbolism of the event, it started off with some kind of a phoenix, you know, rebirth from the ashes. And like the whole stage was the shape of a cross, inverted cross. And um, all these people died and they're claiming it was from the crowd crushing them forward. but. I saw a video of a guy on the ground that was getting medical attention. He was far behind the crowd. And some, uh, anyway, basically my take on it is that this is a frequency issue. It's a frequency attack. It has nothing really to do with either heart attacks. It might have been some sort of heart issues, but it's mostly people couldn't breathe. That was what they were saying. So um, this has something to do with frequency and frequency towers, frequency technologies, and of course the you know, jab. So um, there's a lot more to this story than it meets the eye. It is not at all what you're getting in the media. It's all complete like confusion in the storylines that you're hearing online. So I just wanted to kind of point that out and bring it out for you guys to, to point out, to, to think about, because it is exactly in the timing I was talking about last week about this sort of Mars-Saturn square that just peaked this week, last weekend, and we are getting um, more, well, it's still, we're still feeling it. It's not, it's just basically not over yet. And uh, sorry, <laughs> my computer. Um, so this week, you know, basically what's going on. Um, so let's get a quick heads up on crypto. So uh, we're doing kind of still a sideways motion here. We're in a bit of a sideways pattern with the market, even though Bitcoin is going up and down a bit. We're getting some pretty good um, moves on some of the alts and some alts are kind of disappointing because they're not moving yet, but we still have patterns that still need to unfold in the market. So we're sort of in the middle of a uh, holding pattern where more patterns are getting ready to happen. So when I look at the charts, you know, we've got Mars is conjunct uh, Mercury and both of them are getting ready to team up with the sun here in the next couple of weeks. We just had the Mars Mercury squaring Saturn on the midheaven which is that we're about to get a whole bunch of authoritarian rules coming down. There's some kind of uh, more uh, false flag type uh, events happening that are going to bring about some big kind of draconian uh, control issue. And we're going to get a lot of rules that are going to be uh, implemented. It could happen this week probably not but anytime i don't know the exact timing i would because I'm, I'm trying to put timing on what i'm seeing but anytime within the next uh six weeks something big is going to happen and it's going to come down and it's going to be affecting everyone it's going to have um some kind of control you know it's it's an it's an excuse to control the movement of people is what i'm seeing something really big is is about to happen uh, fortunately, this week, you know, I don't know. Well, so the sun then squares Jupiter also. So that's, it's like the sun and Jupiter can never be too bad, but it, it is enough confusion that people don't make wise decisions and people are overly optimistic or they, um, you know, they just uh, get swept up in partying or everything is too great or like they just, there's a tendency for too much of a good thing with the sun squaring Jupiter. Um, it can be very, it's just overblown and it's not, it doesn't have its feet on the ground in any sense of reality. There's a, a really great saying I used to hear that I really like, which is the idea of hummus. Hummus, the root for the word um, humble and hummus is of the earth, right? It means on the level of the earth. So 
hum humiliation is below the earth and sort of like grandiosity or whatever word you would use for hubris, right, is above the earth. But humble is on the earth. It's at the level of the earth. And when you get the sun squaring Jupiter, you get some of that hubris or uh, it can be pride, but it can also be uh, excess, all kinds of excess. So we are dealing with that this week. And so there's some area where excesses can be uh, highlighted and showing up. But at the same time, we're getting this really massive like control, government control, Saturn issue, issue on the midheaven, which is the Saturn control, like official uh, degree, right? So it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, officialdom on top of officialdom making control, um, announcements and Mars is involved. It's very, um, it's very attack. It's very control. It's very, um, it's just not a pleasant environment. It's not a pleasant aspect. And then that Mercury and Mars will team up with the sun. So we're going to get some announcements from the president in the United States. And we will look at the United States because it's the world power, right? <laughs> they dictate kind of where things are going for uh, the whole world. So we look at um, at that. And so those, the, the things that are happening are going to lead up to some sort of an announcement in the next week to two weeks at the latest and these are going to have a big impact. They're going to be sort of uh, large scale announcements. So I want you guys to be prepared. This is a really tough week. We have a really bad T-square taking place. And the opposition to Uranus makes it very much about electricity and frequencies. And I'll tell you that electrical storm that I was in here was like nothing I've ever experienced. It didn't necessarily seem all that organic. Um, it was like being inside of a, someone clanging a drum. It was really crazy. And then when the storm, I mean, it went right over us. I could see the, like, you know, the, the, um, the, uh, lightning going right, you know, in the sky. But like then after it had passed, there were a couple of booms that literally felt and sounded like bombs went off and the whole place shook, which I have another take on what was actually going on. I don't know that it was just a storm, but um, I don't really want to get into that here on YouTube, but uh, we do have also Mars and Mercury opposing Uranus. I think we have some real issues going on with technology, with uh, all of our devices, with all the things that we use. I know I personally am having that, but I don't think it's just me. I think it's going to be everybody. Like I said, this computer was giving me trouble because of that electrical storm, knocked out the modem, knocked out one of the programs I use. I had to do all kinds of workarounds to get information um, out that I needed to get out. But this, you know, it is not just me. Okay. And I don't feel that this is a complete grid down type of situation, but it, it is going to be, um, spot spotty and some kinds of, uh, issues in certain places. Right. And so we also have, um, we have some better news, which is Neptune and the sun making a nice trine, which means that we can set ourselves up for some long-term plans. Also, if we go out into nature, it's going to be very rejuvenating for us. Um, that's really helpful. It's also tied to Venus. Really, our people in our lives are likely to be the biggest saving grace this this week. Um, very, very loving, very supportive. Uh, the people in our lives, we can be really close to them. We can really feel that that connection in a really beautiful way. So that's very helpful in the challenges that I'm seeing this week have. It's going to be quite a difficult week. And uh, this kind of news story is only the um, tip of the art, scratching the surface of what's coming. Um, we have a uh, Chiron making a sextile to Saturn, which means that there are certain people kind of figuring out and taking action to move in another direction. In fact, a lot of people, um, and it's also tied to the Mars Mercury conjunction. So you're going to see a lot of people starting to try and unify. Um, and even potentially it's going to be a hard road to get this to happen, but there's the need for shared resources, there's the need for a plan towards some kind of resource. Problem is nobody knows what's coming. And so it's really hard to get people to team up because nobody wants to risk themselves. Um, and also people are really hard to get along with. I hate to break it to you guys, but <laughs> if you go try and live with other people, it's not easy, especially people you don't know. So 
these are issues that people are they're holding people back, right? We, if we have the hard time getting along with even our closest people, even our family, right? We all have trouble getting along with people. So when it comes to trying to create new things, it becomes difficult because of how difficult it is to get along with people. And this is highlighted this week, these issues of needing to start things, but also the difficulty of, um, you know, unifying with others. Um, I did do an interview. It's free on my website, which is about uh, forming community and I did it. It was really great information. Some of the, basically the upshot was that, you know, of course, communities and communes and all that kind of thing don't work. Believe me, I grew up in that kind of environment. I promise you that stuff doesn't work. You always end up with some sort of cult leader who is abusing power in some way, shape or form. And what does work much better is to have sort of a like decentralized community where you're you know, a lot of different people living in an environment, supporting each other, mutually taking care of themselves and having things to trade back and forth with each other. So that is something that works better, but um, we're still all in a lot of uh, sort of Mm, like limbo, right? Everyone's in limbo. Even people who think they know what's going on, don't know what's going on, don't know what's happening next because there's just um, so much, so many directions that things could go in. There's no one clear path as to exactly what's going to happen. There are a few things that are pretty sure, right? We knew that uh, that Australia was going to become very difficult to live in. Um, Canada also, the United States, all the United States. I don't even care if you're in a red state. It's going to get difficult in different ways. Uh, red states will be difficult in different ways than blue states. But either way, difficult to live in these places. Some places are easier to live in. So um, this is kind of the uh, the overview, you know, is that we're in a, a week here where we're getting like a crisis, like whether it's a it's it's a it's a preview crisis of what's coming that's going to give us a sense of an alert um, of how to start to move forward. But best thing anyone can do is to be resourceful and self-sufficient and limber and able to move and make changes uh, quickly and easily because right now we do need to do that because there's kind of no one direction, no one path that is uh, very, very clear and uh, obvious as our um, safety, our safe measures. So. Um, what else is going on this week? I mean, this is kind of the overview. It's kind of like basically that. It's like this big kind of news, big kind of information. A lot of it's about technology. The nodes um, are on the mid on the midheaven descendant axis. So information, communication, philosophical conflicts are going to be heavily focused this week. We're going to have really big um, energy on them. The the Ascendant has the North Node, which is the um, in Gemini, which is at the very, you know, it's almost backing into Taurus, but not yet. We're getting there very soon, but which means we're going to have a big shift to resources and to what's mine and what's yours and what do I have to contribute. So it's very important to take stock now and figure it out. However, we're not there yet. Where we are now is in leading with information, right? Gemini, and it's a lot of debate, a lot of confusion, a lot of like two sides to every coin, a lot of like, yeah, yeah, but seeing both sides, a lot of ambivalence and still needing to move forward with some kind of plans, even though we don't have as much information as we might want. And then with the, you know, with the south node on the seventh house cusp in the, which is the partnership degree, uh, south node always being the mess, right? The the ugliness in life <laughs> and Jupiter being afflicted this week, which governs um, the, uh, which governs Sagittarius, which is where the south node is. So we're going to have some big philosophical conflicts in partnerships, in relationships, whether those are business partnerships or personal partnerships. People are going to have some conflicts come up. Some of these will be real and some of them will be imagined because we're in a world where like when people start losing their footing, there's a sense of like insecurity comes up and anybody's old fears or betrayals or abandonments or whatever are going to come to the surface. And not everyone is aware, awake enough to deal with their own inner stuff. And not everyone has, has done the personal inner work. I mean, I know stuff came up for me. It didn't cause me tailspins in my relationships because I 
brought it out and spoke about it and was aware that I was going through something. You know, I had some acupuncture, some emotions came up and I started having these like got scared of a relationship and just talked it through. Right. And it worked out. But This is kind of a preview. Like I have a tendency to be way ahead. Like I'm like the canary in the coal mine. Like things that are going on in my life tend to be ahead of what's going on for other people. So I do see this happening for others this week as well. So please don't react. Don't operate out of fear. Operate out of love. Operate out of a desire for cooperation and a communication because that North Node in Gemini is asking us to talk it out and to speak our needs and our feelings and our individual, like to assert ourselves in communication and to do it in a diplomatic way. These are all gifts of Gemini. So we're being asked to use the the higher gifts of Gemini and also to, you know, focus on the principles, right? Ideas, ideals and principles before uh, personality issues, before, you know, anything that has to do with your own like perception of a situation. If you're focused on a principle of truth, then you'll get through dramas with friends and loved ones. So that's really what the nodes are telling us this week. And it is uh, pretty significant. Uh, because we're going to need to be as diplomatic as possible given the intensities of this week. And also the Saturn on the Midheaven is all kinds of hardship from uh, official sources. So like loans going due and uh, documents and paperwork not being approved and having just a hard time getting your, you know, just sort of rules being changed. All of this is in the works. All of this is coming down and you're going to get some preview of it this week. This isn't all of it, but this is some kind of start to um, um, a changing of, of laws and a rolling back of freedoms and a, a limiting and a, a, an increasing of restrictions. So I want you guys to be prepared for it so you can get ahead of it if possible. If you haven't gotten ahead of it already, try and do it now because usually we get a time, you know, a leeway time, right, before all these new regulations and laws are locked down. So take advantage of that leeway before they become official. And um, what else? Anything else? The sun squaring Jupiter. I talked about it. The over optimism that that brings. But the sun is making a try and I talked about that to Pluto. Also, big transformations are possible, right? We have some very positive transformations. Um, uh, not that much going on in the realm of money yet. It will be more tension coming in the next uh, week or so. But, um, you know, there's a lot more happening in the money sphere um, coming up, but not at the moment. Um, the uh, it's Mainly, it's a time for thinking long term and think of things that you can do that are strategic, where you can put your resources that would give you strategic uh, re assets for long term use. Um, but there's a, a real opportunity for transformation and change. Pluto is bringing that to us this week. So uh, that is pretty much the overview. Um, don't forget my book on Veritasium. You can cl click the link down below. You can join my members area for more um, updated forecasts on what's going on, some picks on coins, where they're gonna go um, higher highs and lower lows. But um, the Veritasium book is free for VIP members. So if you join as a VIP, you can go in and download the book. It's the same price as the book is at the link down below. And you also get all the VIP benefits. But if you just want the book, go ahead and check down below and click the link. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye-bye.